my foot will, will stop, okay? And I get caught back. This is one of those ones where if you ever get that feeling that you keep getting bucked over the front when you're skiing in the bumps, and that's, that's kind of Hello and welcome back. This is Steve from Ski Coach Online. And in this video, just a quick one on how uh, to improve your mogul skiing. A little drill that we're gonna look at. So let's have a little look at the side slip drill and um, where we need to be when we're doing it. And then we'll take it into the bumps make sure we're actually taking what we need to and applying it into our mogul skier. Let's have a look. When we're doing that side slip, what I find is a lot of people focus on the flattening of the skis, which is cool, because then that can help us to slide down the hill like this. What I want to look at though is, I want us to slide for a second, and then I want us to actually engage our edges. When we're doing this, I want us to feel where we are standing on our foot. Okay, if I just side slip down here, I'm kind of on the front of my feet, on the hole of my foot, all good. Sometimes you can do it and the foot can actually get stuck behind you like this. Um, where the issue is then, if I take that into the bumps and I hit a bump really hard, it's gonna be hard for me to actually move this leg and to bend it. If I'm coming down here and I'm doing a bit of a side slip, okay, I can feel the front of my boot for sure, but I can also feel my heel. So that then when I stop here, I've got space and room and I actually have access to move my legs. So. The intention is, when I'm doing my side slip here, okay, I can slide sideways, but as I start to tip those skis up onto their edges to come to a stop, I'm not worried about moving forward or backwards. I'm just thinking about tipping the skis over. I'm just aware of where I'm feeling on my foot. So I actually feel it just ever so slightly in front of my heel. So when you're practicing this, side slip, nice flat skis, Rolling the skis flat using your feet and your legs. As you roll them up onto their edge and they bite, just see where you're feeling, okay, along the length of your foot. Once you've practiced it both sides, so with your downhill ski being your left foot and your downhill ski being your right foot, what we want us to do is pop it together. So as we go down here, I'm gonna have a slide, my left foot being here. As I start to tune up, pull my skis up onto the edge, I feel just in front of my heel, great. Now let's go the other way. Okay, so I have a little bit of a side slip. Just roll those skis up. Okay, feel just in front of my heel on my right foot. Cool, now what we're gonna do is I'm not gonna stop this time. I just tune into the feeling of side slip, roll it up, feel just in front of my heel. What this is doing is just tuning me into where I'm standing on that outside foot. As I now start to link them together, bump. It starts to get me going. I can link some turns together now, feeling the outside foot and where, more importantly, I'm feeling on that outside foot. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go take that into the bumps or to be, to be truthful, get to the side of the bumps. Um, so that way then I can have a practice of this sliding in more of a short style turn get the tempo right before I then take it into the bumps. On the right hand side of this slope, there's uh, some bumps. Um, and on the left, it, it's kind of bumped up, but not really. It feels more like the piste. Um, the ground is a little bit soft. We had a bit of snow last night and the wind has kind of moved it around. So there is, as you can see underneath my skis, there is a little bit of fresh going on, um, but this is still okay for me to transition from the piste to the off piste to the bumps. I'm just thinking again of that side slip or a little bit slippy. And then just as I come to the end of the turn, I'm just gonna roll those skis up, okay? I'm gonna feel what it's like and where I am um, along the length of my foot. So just in front of the heel. That's so that when I go into the bumps and I hit them and I bend my legs, that my foot doesn't get stuck and it actually will keep the ski moving um, so I can have a little bit of flow in my bump skiing as well. So as I go down here, I'm gonna, have a little play, there we are. So have a bit of a spin, roll my skis up onto the side. There's actually some bumps here that I can practice it with. So that way then, when I'm doing it, bump, I feel just in front of my heel. Cool, and I'm having a very kind of quick slide. I'm not looking for heaps of grip. I'm just tuning into balancing on that outside foot. And when I do start to roll them over, that I'm rolling it over whilst being connected just in front of that heel. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna step kind of one, my right foot into the bump, 
and then my left foot not in the bump just so I get the feeling of um, the timing of it of when I'm going to hit hit that bump is when I start to kind of roll that foot over um, and I'm going to just be in contact with just in front of my in front of my heel so it looks a little bit like this I come around we right foot on left foot not right foot on left foot not so what I'm doing here is I'm just tuning into that feeling of when I land on a bump. Let me get over to a bump so you can have a look. Cool. So as I'm here, okay, my right foot is touching this bump here. Um, and what I want to make sure is that as I hit it, I'm hitting it and I feel connected just in front of my heel. Okay, what that'll do, that'll allow me space to bend my leg so that if I go a bit faster, boom, and I bang into it quite hard, then I can bend that leg and it, my foot won't get stuck. I know we've all had that feeling before where the skin in the bumps moving really fast and then your feet like, feel like they get stuck or caught up on a bump. Um, so if you have a play with this, go in and out of the bumps and you'll get a feeling for, okay, I, I hit the bump for sure, but my ski doesn't die and it doesn't stop, okay? I'll show you, I'll give you a demo of, if I hit the bump, my foot's way behind me, like this, that, it's kind of not worth snapping my leg for a YouTube video, but there we are. So if I get, if I hit a bump here like this, my balance right now is just in front of my toe piece. And what that'll do is it means it, my foot will, will stop and I get caught back. This is one of those ones where if you ever get that feeling that you keep getting bucked over the front when you're skiing in the bumps, and that's that's kind of that could be one of the things that's happening. So as we're sliding down here, I've got that feeling of okay, I'm on my heel. We I can bend my leg, and then that ski then doesn't get stuck and doesn't get caught back. Okay, let's go up and have a look at it. I'll go and ski those bumps. And we'll see if we can see it in action when we're actually in the bumps there. Here I am in the bumps. Um, so you can see here, the kind of feeling I'm gonna have is if I hit this bump here, I'm just, just in front of my heel. That way then um, my ski are free to keep going where they wanna go. If I get caught back here, as you can see, my tail could get caught up um, and my, my foot will get stuck behind me. So I won't be able to absorb or do any of that good stuff. So let's give it a go here whilst holding this camera. So you can see there that when I hit, if I land hard, boom, if I land here, then I've got loads of space. If I wanted to, I could absorb that much. So that way then I'm not gonna get caught up. My feet aren't gonna get stuck. Now I'm not gonna get bucked over the front like that. What will happen is I can then start to use how I, how quickly or slowly I absorb my legs or bend my legs to control my descent down the hill, okay? You can also, use how strongly you edge set or how you side slip down the bumps to control your speed as well. That one gets a little bit more difficult when you start to go a bit faster because if you haven't quite got it right and you tip those skis over, they might move you somewhere where you don't want to go. Um, so sometimes having a bit of a flatter ski, sliding into the bump and using absorption is a bit easier to do when you start to go a bit faster. Anyway, let me know how it goes. Give this a try um, and I'll catch you in the next one.